Uh. Oh shit. Oh shit. See Hey guys, all right, so this is day two. We came back after a couple days because uh, we were busy with other stuff. We wanted to get like that John Wick look, so we bought a bunch of lights. So we have these that are like connected. They're under kitchen cabinet lighting. These work pretty well because uh, you could also change the colors. We have other light strips that you can buy. Most of these are all on Amazon. Some you can get at five and below. You guys have seen these before that we use as our coasters, but they're underwater like pool lighting that you could get. Also got other pucks, so they all change colors. And then there's other bars, these are magnetic. So we have a bunch of different lights just to get that John Wick look. And we got colored lights in particular, so I think, uh, we wanted to get, we wanted to do pink and blue, but we're gonna do a light test today um, for day two, so that way when we actually film on the day, we already know how to light each scene, and plus if we need to, we could go and buy more lights. I've been holding on too long, yeah, it's been killing me, holding on to you, but you wanna get rid of me, you told me you wanted this, no one lies, cause you left me this man. Yeah. No, what are you doing? Don't, no. Which leads him into back into this room where we do a, woo. <laughs> yeah, to to a very woo transition where uh, a person gets shoved onto uh, onto the camera, and as they reveal the person behind, the person behind is already shooting uh, into or going into a, a shooting um, like whatever position. Then they. Uh, oh shit! Oh shit! See, I told you. It's, I didn't even know you were in front of me. Maybe this. We've been working all morning to kind of like light up or like plan out the lights for the basement shot. Obviously, we can't, we don't really know how to light a scene until we actually storyboard it so we know where the cameras would be. So we have a better understanding where we're gonna put the lights. All right, guys, thanks for watching this week's video. And if you guys want to learn how to make gunfights like we do, please check out our website, artschooldropouts.com, where we have a tutorial series called Do As As Though Do, where we teach you how to do uh, action scenes like, you know, hand-to-hand -hand fight scenes and now gunfights. So please check it out if you're interested. All right, bye.